Well, welcome to the Post Sunday app. Uh, you're hearing a little pitter patter of rain, maybe on the roof here. Boy, the storm was pretty strong here in Washington. Uh, did you wake yeah. up at all um, in the storm? Yes, I did. Yeah. You did? Yeah. yeah. I'm a very deep sleeper. In college, I woke up to a fireman in my dorm room waking me up that there was a fire on my floor. And I woke up during the storm. Did he, did he carry night. you out at the building? So, <laughs> no, did but he had, he had an ax in his hand, so it was very frightening to wake up to. Hey, buddy, you ought to go downstairs. <laughs> right. Okay. Done. So, but yeah, it was a crazy storm here uh, last night. Um, the rain's not helping our building project a whole lot. No, it's been a really interesting summer with that, huh? It has. I wouldn't have thought this much rain would have delayed the project like it has. So. Yeah. I mean, God's sovereign, summer. but we're, uh, yeah, I wish it could go off. <laughs> it's still looking faster. good. I'm excited. Um, yeah, there's some walls being poured, and if you haven't been to our Facebook page or even to our um, our website, you can click on the little Flickr um, icon in the top right-hand corner and, and go to pictures of it and see it, see the progression there. And we have a live feed now, too. Right. I should mention that, too. We have a live feed. So, uh, But as we talk about the sermon this morning, Daniel, I just wonder if we will ever, ever, <laughs> ever... <laughs> Get it all together. Get it all together. <laughs> So there's some feedback of the shock that you could quote not just that song, but other songs without looking at your notes. Yeah, well, and I think most of it was that I've heard a lot about the Taylor Swift song, obviously. And, you know, uh, I did have it down in my notes, Okay. but it's, uh, you know, it's not like it's Shakespeare. It's not, (laughs) there's like four words in it, and I just save a bunch. I don't even think, honestly, I don't think I got the lyrics exactly right, but... Yeah. Well. Yeah. We'll never. We, not, we'll, 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 we'll roll tape. Roll on tape that. and yeah. get out the lyrics. Yeah. yeah. No, we won't. But no, I was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I was impressed with how many uh, people were excited by <laughs> Taylor Swift quote and, and the monkeys. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Yeah, it was neat that you did the generation because I, I sit in the back and so I saw different generation heads yeah. nodding and laughing as you did the different yeah. generations of songs. And then oh. like, you know, the the people who. Never listened to secular music. We're confused on all of them. <laughs> yeah, so right. like I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah. So, well, I did write down at the, near the end of your sermon in, in first service. You yeah. said, "Here are some applications." Let me read through them, and then if there's anything you want to expound upon, anything you didn't get to say because time is running short yeah. on those applications. Um, but we were in First John four seven through ten. The title of the sermon was "Love Source," and uh, but this first one just convicted me even. Yea, even this morning. If God is the source of my love for others, my love for you is not based on your worth. Uh, Second one was my love must have the right intent uh, for your eternal benefit, not that you will like me. And the third one was my love acts. It should act. It's not just a theoretical love. Um, Is there one of those that you wish you had more time to expound upon? upon. Um, Yeah, all of them you you could do a whole... That's a sermon series right, right there. Right. Yeah. But um, yeah, so that was all on the second point. So the, our first point was talking about I have to be I have to be reborn to understand God's love, to love right. God, to love as God would have you. And then, so this second one was was on the aspect of understanding love, verses nine and ten. How do I how can I even conceptualize what love is? And and so I think as we look at how God defines love, we have to we have to realize okay, my, as I understand love, I I love people without regard to to their worth. They don't. This, this type of love that I have comes from God. I don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. And so mm-hmm. that's kind of off the table. Yeah. And then just thinking about, I, I've been convicted as, I, as I've thought about how God's love had both an action and an intent behind the action. And so my love yeah. has, to, has to have that as, as well. And as I think about verses 7 and 8, um, I, don't know, I had another song that was going through my head that, okay. uh, that I was, was going to sing maybe. But not here. Oh, but it was, it's, for, it's a song. I don't know if you've ever, ever heard it. First uh, John 4, 7 and 8. It's like a... Um, we had a record as a kid where, you know, okay. Beloved, let us love one another. The love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God. That's more of the rap version. Yeah. What you're right. The right one, now. I'm William Shatner. But. But, and then it goes, you know, He that loveth not, loveth not God. For God is love. Okay. Beloved, let us love one another. First John 4, 7 and 8. Okay. Have heard that? No. No? Okay, so... I'm the only one. No, actually, there's a. I, I mentioned it Sunday night to some people, and they they heard, they heard it. Too, it? So. Okay. But anyways, it's, it's uh, uh, as we think about songs and lyrics, and you know, I kind of was joking around with the uh, uh, the different songs we sang. But I think it's a good reminder. It was a good reminder also for me of 
how influential songs are and just the ability to, to, to train ourselves and our kids and friends by, by listening to songs with, with good lyrics and, uh, and, and, and even Bible verses too. You know? there's, yeah. there's some good resources out there for parents with Se- seeds of faith. Seeds of faith, yeah. That's a great. I'm way off in the woods that. right now. So that, that's all right. We're not going to sermon anymore, but. <laughs> Yeah. Well, let me. I'll ask, I'll ask one last question for you. Yeah. When you, the 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 first one I read here, the one that really convicted me here lately. If if God is a source of my love for others, my love for you is not based on your worth. Yeah. Um, is there any sense there of the the way it struck me? And tell me if this is the right application, or if I'm a little bit off on application. Mm-hmm. Was that I love you if you can serve me. Like right. if I can get something back from you. Right. When you say worth here, is that what you're meaning? Or are you meaning just mm. because you're creating the image of God? Right. What kind of worth are you talking about? Um, when I say my love for you is not based upon your worth. Right. Yeah. I, I think I was thinking more of the way you were applying it. That okay. What you're going to do back for me. Yeah. Or, or even just uh, just me having this system that det- maybe not even just what you're going to do for me, but even if you're worthy of my time or worthy of, if you've done enough mm-hmm. to get me to do nice things. For, maybe you're a... Uh, uh, a person who's done some terrible things, you know what, they don't deserve me to sacrifice yeah. for them. Yeah. Uh, or they're a person who really is uh, annoying to other people or me. I'm like, you know what, they don't deserve my... Yeah. So. It, but it, it seems like if we really dwelled on that truth and really analyzed our relationships and how we interact with people, we would see how much sin has corrupted yeah. us and how much our need is for grace. Because yeah. I think about my relationships and, wow, so often I demand you to perform for me yeah. before I show love yeah. and uh, wow I need God's grace yeah. in my life yeah, absolutely so absolutely that's good yeah. so well thanks hey thank you those thanks. are some good would you like to do a parting song for no, you no uh, I don't <laughs> that was a quick but I, do, I do have a CD coming out of uh, Daniel Recites song lyrics <laughs> so well look for that CD at the Bethany Bookstore on Sunday and thanks for joining us on the Post Sunday app